this question, we're given some data and we need to compute the mean, the median, and the mode. Excel will compute all these for us. Uh, it does say around to one decimal place as needed. So I'm gonna copy and paste our data. Now one problem is it pasted it into a single cell. So if it's a lot of numbers, this can get annoying. I'm just retyping them. 20, 22, 26, 27, 30, 32, 33, 33. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight numbers and I have eight that I just put down. Okay, so as long as I typed them in right, I'm just double checking, it looks okay. Excel can compute all these for us. Uh, let me go, I'm right clicking over here on a row and if I go insert, it'll just insert an extra couple rows. I just wanna separate this from my actual data I'm gonna compute from. All right, first one is mean. Median mode. All right, just labeling my computations. All right, now if I go equals mean, um, the mean actually refers to the arithmetic mean, which we call the average. So this is one of the few times that there's a vocabulary word that we use that's not really how we compute it inside of Excel. So when it says mean, what they mean is average. So you're gonna type in average. You don't need any of the fancy ones, just regular average. It's the arithmetic mean. And start your parentheses. And I'm just going to left click and drag A6 to A13. All right, so that's the arithmetic mean. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna go and change this to number. Well, I think actually in general it might work too. I'm changing the number of decimal places here. And it said round to one decimal place, so Excel already rounds it. You can of course round it yourself. This is 27.875, which rounds 27.9, but Excel will also round for you. All right, so that's the mean. Now the median, so there's the median function. And just type the first few letters, then tab, and left click, drag, enter. That's the median. Mode, uh-oh, we have several choices. Now this mode at the bottom um, is an old function. Uh, I believe it'll still work, but it says returns the most frequently occurring or repetitive value in an array or range of data. And then there's mode single, returns the most frequently occurring or repetitive value in an array or range of data. So that's exactly what we want. The mult just gives you, it could, there could be several numbers that appear more, the most frequently, and that, that's what this will give you but we're using this one. That's the one I put on the cheat sheet for the class. So mode.single, and here, same thing, highlight them all, hit enter. It's the most frequently occurring. Now, if your list of numbers is in order and the list is not very big, you can usually get the mode without using this mode function, but that's how to do it with the function. And submit all that. Some of the homework questions are gonna ask only for the mean, only for the median, only for the mode. Uh, we also saw the percentage function that could be used here. Remember the median is the 50th percentile. If I could type 50th. So we're gonna do percentile excluding EXC. Again, you select all this, and then you type comma and point, geez, point 50 parentheses. That should give you the exact same value. The median is just the 50th percentile. You can of course use a percentile function as well.